We've got some fresh images of 3i Atlas, a third ever interstellar object observed from Earth, currently racing through our solar system. Now, astronomers have captured that moment live, streaming in real time around the globe of them watching all of this. Take a look at this. The kind of image that shouldn't exist, not yet, not like this, and definitely not meant for public release, because what it shows breaks every model, contradicts every assumption. Captured weeks ago, quietly published just now, the image reveals something no one predicted. A massive, deep, crimson coma, rich in carbon dioxide, strangely uniform and completely unexpected. And the numbers don't lie. 3i Atlas is releasing CO2 at 70 kilograms per second. That's comet-like behavior, but this isn't acting like any comet we've ever seen. Which raises the obvious question. Why did NASA sit on this image? Why delay the data unless the object isn't what they assumed? Or worse, maybe it is. And that's the problem. August 2025. Sphere X, NASA's next-gen infrared observatory, begins a new observing session. Its target, the object designated 3i Atlas, drifting through space at 3.2 astronomical units from the Sun, roughly Jupiter's orbit. It's a region where icy bodies begin to stir. Sunlight starts warming their surfaces, water ice sublimates, and the first hints of tails appear but not this time. Sphere X detects no water vapor, no solar-driven jets, no streaming tail. Instead, it sees carbon dioxide glowing in infrared, expanding out into space to form a perfect spherical coma, 348,000 kilometers wide. That's nearly the distance from Earth to the moon. And it's not a tail, it's a sphere, a halo of gas encasing the object in silence. CO2 venting at 70 kilograms per s steadily. No water, no dust, just gas. And that's the mystery. Comets don't act like this. Not here, not now. CO2 isn't typically dominant at this range from the sun. Water ice is supposed to take over, driving activity, powering explosive outbursts, forming tails, but 3i Atlas refuses. Water ice is there, Spectral data proves it, mixed with organics. But it's not being released. Some researchers propose that the carbon dioxide acts like a coolant, forming a thermal shield that suppresses the surface temperature, delaying water sublimation. Others believe the water ice lies buried under thick, insulating layers, too deep to reach boiling point. But even these theories don't fully hold. The coma is too large, too symmetrical, too consistent to be explained away by natural plume physics. It doesn't resemble the chaotic behavior of typical comets. It's structured, controlled, almost intentional. Some astronomers are drawing comparisons to long-period comets from the Kuiper Belt or even the distant Oort cloud. But even those icy relics don't display this level of CO2 release especially not with this kind of regularity or structure. So if the coma is strange, the core is even stranger. When 3i Atlas was first spotted, early estimates pegged it at a few hundred meters across, a baby comet, tiny and typical. But Sphere X infrared spectrum revealed something deeply off. Anomalous reflectivity around one micron, intense, persistent. After rerunning the thermal models, scientists landed on a new estimate, a nucleus possibly 46 kilometers wide. 46. That's not just large, it's enormous. That would make 3i Atlas larger than 90% of all known comets. And yet, it was invisible until now. How does something that size remain unseen? A mass that big should have made waves. Its gravitational footprint alone would have warped nearby stars. Its coma should have scattered light for weeks, if not months. But Hubble didn't see that. There's no broad dust trail, no ion streak, just that calm, red glow and silence. 
So maybe it's not the core we're seeing. One theory gaining traction. What if most of the observed brightness comes not from the object itself, but from microscopic particles suspended in the coma, scattering sunlight back toward our telescopes? That would shrink the true nucleus back to something familiar. Smaller. Manageable. But it raises a new issue. Where's the dust? Where are the chaotic jets? Why is the coma so smooth, so even, so mathematically symmetric? The light curve doesn't look like random debris. It follows a pattern, hinting at a structured surface or a uniform shell. Not the kind of thing you'd expect from an eroding, natural comet core. So again, what exactly are we seeing? A shrouded ice giant? A decoy? Or an object entirely outside our current classification? And then there's the silence. The water is there, trapped, frozen, detectable, but still. At this solar distance, water should boil off into vapor. That's how comets work. They form tails, emit gas, grow wings of light. But 3i Atlas doesn't. Its water emission is measured at just 4.5 kilograms per second, 10 times less than what comets this size and distance should produce. Why? One hypothesis, carbon dioxide keeps the outer layers too cold. Another, layers of dust are insulating the water, preventing any thermal reaction. But there's also another possibility, that the object's surface chemistry is alien, defying our expectations. It's not just sleeping, it's deliberately quiet. And then there's the delay. The SphereX data was gathered in early August, but only made public weeks later, and only through a small update in a quiet corner of NASA's website. No press release, no announcement, no attention. Why? Some say NASA is playing it safe, others say it's just routine caution. But a few, a small but growing group, are asking louder questions. Because this isn't the first time this has happened. In 2017, we watched Oumuamua slip through our solar system. It accelerated without jets. It had no visible emissions. It spun oddly and vanished without a trace. Back then, the mystery was dismissed. Now, with 3 Eye Atlas, we may be watching history repeat, but on a much grander scale. Most scientists still insist it's just a comet. A weird one, sure, but natural. An outlier, not an anomaly. But others, like Harvard's Avi Loeb, aren't convinced. Being so close to them uh, is very small. So the unusual trajectory of this object uh, offers the possibility that it might have been designed uh, so as uh, to have some goals of a reconnaissance mission. And while that theory might sound radical, remember, it only takes one object to change everything we know. Until then, 3i Atlas moves forward slowly but steadily, toward the inner solar system, toward sunlight, toward its reveal. And we watch. Because whatever 3i Atlas truly is, it's not finished. A coma that defies physics, a core that may not even be real, and a silence that feels less like absence and more like intention. This was supposed to be another frozen traveler, harmless, predictable. But the deeper we dig, the more it looks like something else. And maybe that's why this image was hidden. Maybe that's why no one talked. Because some things aren't ready to be explained, and others were never meant to be found. But we'll keep looking, because the sky doesn't lie, and neither does the silence between the stars. If you're ready to keep following the truth, not the headlines, not the noise, but the real data, like, subscribe, and join us. Because this story is just beginning.